What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode number 152 today of our My Player Career Mode. We're still at Leicester. We're still absolute mugs. We still can't defend. We still can't win. Never mind. We put that to bed last episode. We finally got a victory, guys. If you missed it, definitely go back and watch it because you're probably not likely to see a victory ever again in the history of our time here at Leicester. I'm kidding. Of course you are. We're going to beat Liverpool today. Then we're going to beat uh, Everton. Then we're going to beat everybody else, to be fair. Um, some more international friendlies as well, which for some reason we are picked for. But of course, I'm not going to play them. Uh, I always some international friendlies, guys. I did used to play them way back. Um, but then kind of since then, there was no point because we already get picked anyway. So... Literally, guys, there is zero point in playing the international friendlies. It doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I probably should play them for realism, but I just decided against it, to be fair. So today's episode looks as if we are playing against Liverpool already. And after 10 games, we currently sit 11th place. That's how the league table currently looks. Liverpool are sat in 5th place. Uh, we are... How many points off them? Five points off Liverpool. So victory today could move us up to 10th place, depending on what kind of uh, result we get. We could move a little bit higher. Obviously, goal difference and stuff coming into play if we beat them. To think as well, one of the victories we've had is against Chelsea. Currently, we sit second uh, on seven league goals. Correa is on nine for Spurs at the moment. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of tough for us to score goals when there's not much service coming our way. But enough about that, guys. Today's episode is all about us trying to get a victory. That's the team we've got for it. Hopefully, we can get the job done today. I mean, do you know what? I don't even care if it doesn't, to be fair, because... We, at the end of the day, go back to PSG. And somebody who is on his way to PSG, apparently, is that of Neymar, which, uh, yeah, £200 million. Pounds. Just, it's just absolutely mind-blowing, guys. Crazy amount of money to spend on one person, on one player. Uh, it, honestly, like, just think, think of it like this, guys. I'm probably never going to see what, you know, maybe you'll see, I guess, 15 grand, whatever, in, in, in your hands at any one time, I guess. So think about that. Most I'm probably ever going to see in my lifetime is 15 grand. And even then, I'm not going to see it because that's like, you know, deposit on a house or whatever. Whereas Neymar, they're just going to throw a cheeky 200 million pounds at him, you know, at Barcelona for him, which is just poof, mind blowing, guys. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. I just don't know what to say, to be fair. But, I mean, I hope he just doesn't flop, let's put it that way, because <laughs> 200 million pounds, it's a hefty price tag. Are you going to flop for that? I don't know. We'll see. How hilarious would it be, guys, if he went to PSG? For 200 million quids and then flopped. I'd, I'd, I'd love it. I'd absolutely love it. I mean, it wouldn't be funny for him, of course. But for me, it'd be hilarious. Anyways, guys, enough about the name I talk. We're into today's episode. We're already a minute in and there's already been a tackle on one of us. Let's go, boys. Shaping up to be a good game. All right, we've got the ball kind of deep here. It's not where I want the pass normally. Nice ball through. If he'd have shot that, we would have had a chance. Ah, I mean, I'm having to drop quite deep at the moment to get on the ball. Don't really like dropping this deep, to be fair, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to be able to get some touches of the football. And at the moment, that looks as, as if the way that I'm going to actually get a touch of the ball at this stage <clears throat> by dropping quite deep. Because uh, our service from midfield, as you know from the previous episode, hasn't been brilliant recently. And that's kind of why we're in somewhat of a goal drought, if you want to call it that. Of course, we did score last episode against Villa. Uh, but it'll be catastrophic if we don't get our hands on another golden boot. And I'll be pretty disappointed in that if we don't, because of course, we went to PSG for six months. We didn't get the golden boot there because we were only there six months, but we did win a lot of trophies. And that's my mistake, that. I didn't mean to kick that out there. Um, so I suppose it will be kind of annoying if we didn't get it. And uh, Leicester's probably not the best team to be fighting for the golden boot with, because of course their service probably isn't the best. But I'll still try my best to get the golden boot, guys, for you, because that's all I want to do. Nice flick on, actually. Great work. We've got a chance here with that cross into the middle. It didn't come even past the first player. What are you doing, man? Well, Liverpool nearly going close as well. There's a track of their own 27 minutes in. I thought it was 1-0. I was about to, like, go sick at my defence. But in all seriousness, it wasn't too far away. It was close, but it's still not quite good enough from Liverpool's perspective. They need to get their shooting boots on. It's their first strike of the game, though, and it's not unheard of for us to concede off the first shot. We did it against City twice. They had two shots and scored them both. So, I mean... It's not unheard of, to be fair. Um, and so far, we were on top. But now Liverpool are kind of getting themselves into the game a little bit. That was a misplaced pass there, but that was a, still a decent attempt at one. Because you never know, that nearly would... It could have paid off that one if it had been a slightly better pass. And uh, we do need to uh, make sure we keep the pressure on, of course. And I do want to, of course, come away with a victory. We just need to get a start off in one of these games like we did against Chelsea that time when I scored a free kick inside the first two minutes of it. There's a nice ball into the middle. There we go. Chance, strike it. Oh, it's blocked. No way. Oh, he's blocked it. Oh, man. That was a good opportunity, though. 35 minutes in, and again, another good chance for us. Squandered. 
Little one-two with my teammate, and I've got it in the center of the box here. Managed to get it back onto that left foot. The strike comes in, and somehow the Liverpool defenders blocked that. I don't think he knew too much about it, but he did get the block away, so I have to give him credit for that. Nice block. Corner aimed, aimed into myself here. I've run it down, tried to bring it down. Oh my goodness me, he's gone in. Is that going to go down as my goal, though? We've got a goal from literally nothing, absolutely nothing. And Liverpool have conceded one of the sloppiest goals they're probably going to concede all season long. It just was not dealt with. And I reacted quickest, just nodded home. Keeper doesn't get anywhere near it, actually. That's uh, one of the worst goals to have conceded if you are a Liverpool player. But the question is, do we get credited with it? I mean, we should do because it was on target. So even if it does take a deflection, it should still be our goal. It is our goal. So there you go. Eighth league goal of the season here at Leicester City. Yes, get in, boys. We've already got the, uh, the opening goal of the game. We lead by a goal to nil. Let's hopefully hold on to this, lads. Do you remember just a minute ago when I told us to hold on to it? Well, uh, that's not the way you uh, go about holding on to a lead, to be fair. Because uh, that, that defending wasn't exactly brilliant, boys. As uh, Firmino's in behind. Firmino's made it 1-1. What is wrong with us? Why can't we defend? My goodness me, man. Look, again. Like, what on earth is that defense? Like, jeez. 45 minutes on the clock. Stroke of half-time. We worked hard to get into the lead. And then we do that. So, basically, guys, it's back level again. Leicester 1. Liverpool 1. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to win a Premier League title with Leicester. So now it's all about if we can win the Europa League. I mean, look, what kind of defending is that, boys? Seriously. Like I said, we're not going to win a Premier League title. So it's going to be all about trying to get the golden boot. And if we can't do that, all about trying to win the Europa League for the first time as a player. So, I mean, <laughs> that defending is horrendous again, lads. But what are you expecting? I mean, I've come to the conclusion that, that should, that's just what I should be expecting. Because as a, as a unit defensively, we do not know how to defend. Oh, man, if we couldn't outscore our opponents, we wouldn't be still in with a shout. At, you know what? I reckon we uh, we might even be fighting with the bottom half of the table here if we're not careful. So, uh, lads, you do need to start defending at some point. Ball down the right-hand side for me to chase here, and I've cut it back inside. Ref, that's a free kick. That's twice he's tried to take me out, and we've got ourselves a, uh, a free kick here. If he wants to take me out that much, he's got to pay some money first, but... We have got the free kick, and uh, let's see what we can do. In fact, this is one of the most horrendous positions to have it. I hate having it in these kind of positions. I'm going to try my best to whip it into a dangerous area, although it's probably not going to go to plan. Let's see what happens with this one. It, that is a horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I hate having free kicks like that. Another free kick then given by the ref. All right, two out of two. Let's try, uh, let's try it again from this one, though. Um, what should we do with this one? Let's try and whip it into that danger area there. Probably going to go to no one. It is gone into the middle, and it's absolutely fizzed in. Strike that. There we go. Hit it. Now it's got to be. Yes! We've got a second. Oh, my goodness me. Defending just isn't relevant in this game. No, no, none of the teams can defend at the moment. 55 minutes into it. I mean, that one, in all seriousness, it's a little bit harder to defend. You know, the, the ball was fizzed in, and it's bouncing everywhere. It's kind of more difficult, but seriously, guys, defending just isn't there today. I mean, us and Liverpool just don't seem to be able to defend. It's cleared away. Great block originally, and it's bouncing everywhere, and uh, it falls to trap the man who, I guess you could say, had a little bit of an issue and was maybe at fault for the, uh, the equaliser. He's put it in the back of the net. He's made it 2-1. Fair enough, dude. Leicester City 2, Liverpool 1. Back in the lead. Now can we defend and hold it, boys? Nice work from the lads to originally create the opportunity, and I've managed to squeeze that ball out wide to the right-hand side. But our teammate on the right, it's Trap again. He's having an off game. It's, he's having a strange game today. You know, he was kind of at fault for the first goal, not making a the tackle. Then he gets us back in the game, and then he just does that and runs it straight into a Liverpool defender. Let's call it um, inconsistency, but in reality, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, so far, 20 minutes to go. We still lead 2-1 here. But, I mean, you're never quite sure with this defence. I don't know whether or not we're going to hold on to this, if we're going to concede twice, maybe even three times, and maybe even give them, like, four goals in the last, you know, 20 minutes. Or if we're going to add a third ourselves. I just, I have no idea. It's, it's just balmy. Honestly, anything can happen from this stage now. Our defending so good that I actually can't see where the ball is. I mean, I don't know if it's if it's us on the ball or if it's them. Oh, it's us. The ball's coming up to me here. I'm trying to win the flick on. Wait, we did win it. We won the flick on. Oh, my goodness me. I'd never win headers. We won one there. Little ball inside. Can I chase on the end of this? Not quite. The 29's got his uh, defending correct. Oh, my goodness me. You nearly ran it straight into me there, Flanagan. Oh, goodness. That would have been so nice to have that little bit of a gift. But sadly, it didn't quite work out. Am I, uh, my energy pool right now. Not looking too grand, so I can't really keep myself just running in circles. That was a poor pass. Got to get it past Flanagan there. 
Liverpool breaking away. Hang on a minute because Mane has it. Cross into the middle. Oh, my goodness me. We just about lived to breathe another day. Zila, the header, in all fairness, was straight at him. If he didn't make that save, I would have been livid. But there you go. In an instant, it went from looking like we were going to have an attack to Liverpool having a, a chance of their own. And if we can clear this away, I'm away again. Never mind. It's going to be headed behind for yet another Liverpool corner. Come on, boys. Clear it away. I'm bearing down on goal. The keeper's coming. Oh, my goodness me. The keeper's coming up. Come on, lads. Just get this ball out to me and I I'm going to score. I'm going to make it 3-1 for you guys. Come on. Clear it. Clear it. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. Okay. Never mind. All right. Fair enough. We just about dealt with it. I'll, uh, I'll hold on to a 2 woman lead gladly as long as we don't concede. And there you go. Keeper kicks it out. Surely from this stage now we can't lose it. Come on, boys. Ref, if you would like to be kind and blow your whistle, because I've got a feeling Liverpool are going to get another attack here. Joe Gomez down the left-hand side. What's he going to do? Whips across it for me. No, no. My God. There is... <laughs> that was an opportunity. I made the most weird sound I think I've ever heard in my entire life there. But look, guys. Th that Look how close. Look at this. Firmino, you have to say, should he be getting on the end of that one? Or, hang on a minute. Oh, my goodness me. It was so close. Yeah, I don't know what the noise was, by the way. Probably, like laughing your socks off now. I'm just in stitches listening to me. But anyways, we have held on here and we are going to come away with three points, thankfully, from the King Power Stadium. A two-on victory mixed in with some crazy noises, mixed in with some just amazing goals, as you saw by the gameplay in today's episode so far. But Klopp, unfortunately for him, has fallen to a defeat. We did pick up the three points from the today's episode or the first game of it. A goal for myself as well. And then we got another one through Trap. And we do get the three points. It was difficult, but we got the job done at the end of the day. Game one done, and it's looking like it could be quite an interesting episode today. All right, as I said, never play the international friendly. So there we go. We're going to sim those two away. It's Finland and Ivory Coast, I think, the two friendlies against. Let's give some of the younger lads a chance to be able to uh, play some football at international level, even though, of course, we'll just be like replaced by Kane or something. Um, so yeah, maybe even Rashford potentially because of course we are quite late into it So Rashford's probably quit pretty good right now. There's a fair few players that will have retired and left and gone um, And also some of the younger players of course that are currently in football will also be at a stage now where they're pretty damn good So anyways guys next game of today's episode. We already played one Merseyside club We're taking on the other one now in the form of Everton. We beat the first one moves us up into ninth place in the league as well Everton down in 13th, so I mean, we're pretty much like for like. We've had a very, very similar start, apart from the fact that their two is in the drawing section and our two is in the loss section and our five is in the drawing section, but theirs is in the losses. So I mean, yeah, kind of strange to be fair. Anyways, moving into this game now, I'm just looking forward to it. I think we've got the capability to be able to beat them. But then again, the way we're going, we're so inconsistent, we potentially could lose this one as well. I don't know. We'll see, guys. Uh, we are in the red for it as well. Should be quite good. Red and blue just don't match. And I've got a blue thingy on. Um, maybe I should switch it to red. I can't be bothered backing out the menu. Anyways, that's the team we've got, guys. Should be interesting. Trap, of course, got the win last time out. He's actually only 71 rated. So, uh, yeah, not too bad for him. Everton, the opponent, coming up for you in a moment. All right, we are playing at Goodison Park as well for this one. So, uh, we had an opening game at home. This time around, we're going over to... Uh, uh, Everton to play. So that's their team anyway. They've got Barkley who is the captain today. Dela Feu as well. Garbutt still there. Tim Krull in between the sticks. Pennington still there. Uh, other than that, I think there's a fair few um, youth players or maybe generated players. Is that Jordan Ayew up front as well? Uh, that's a bit horrendous to be fair. I mean, you go from Romelu Lukaku to Jordan Ayew. Uh, that's, that's not great to be fair. Anyways, second game coming up now live guys. I believe we can get the three points. We already did it against Liverpool who are technically higher up in the state in the uh, league table than Everton are. So uh, I guess if you want to be technical we should be able to do a very similar thing here. Great win back already and we may have a chance straight from the first whistle. Ball through. I can't reach it. Never mind. That's uh, that's an interesting tackle for myself here. Nearly killed a man. Let's go. Good work from Chilwell, who gives a pass off to me as well. And I've got a pass out wide. Great ball, great switch of play. Nice play! And Musa was waiting for a tap in, in the middle of the box. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the pass across to him. Wait a minute. Nobody's come out for the short corner. I'm in acres of space here. Can I whip a good enough cross into the middle? It's not good enough, unfortunately. Can't seem to get those crosses right ever at all. There's Amari Gray. It's another one in. I'm there near post. Good save, Tim Krull. As we had an effort goalwards with a head. Again, I'm not really known for heading ability, so I'm surprised that was even on target. And that we actually won it in all fairness as well. Tim Krull, though, good save. Why am I on corner duty? I don't know why I'm on corner duty. I really hate corners. 
I whip another one in, and again, I don't seem to be able to ever get a teammate with these corners. Let's try again. Where should I put this one? Let's put it a bit more deeper. Let's go towards the back post instead, as it is going to go all the way to the back stick. And again, Everton come out on top. Our teammate has just taken a man out here. So Everton have a really good uh, position for this free kick. It's whipped into the middle. It's headed away. I'm going to try and chase that. Never mind. It wasn't going to come through. Yates picks up the pieces. And he's driving forward for Everton. Let's see what he can do with it. Just gets dispossessed instantly. Ball over the top. Why is it going over the top? Just play it along the floor, man. To my feet. Why would you do that? I'm not going to win that header. Um, yeah, shocking decision. We had a chance, actually, to be able to make a move happen. Barkley strike. Going to be blocked. I did win that header, though, to be fair. And it's gone all the way backwards to my teammate. Are we going to get a chance from this one is the question, though. Musa. Out wide is another teammate. I asked for it to be played down the right-hand side. We got it played down the right-hand side. I'm going to have to go backwards, though, sadly, because there is no pass on forwards. As uh, we've still got all hold of the play here, and a ball still comes into me on this right-hand side. I'm going to try and whip across him with the right foot. Not great. Oh, my goodness me, Cruel. What are you doing, son? That was an interesting maneuver by the keeper. Maybe if Musa had been there, that was 1-0. Half time whistle goes, guys. Still nil-nil in the game. Sadly, we haven't managed to find a chance or a breakthrough yet. We did have a good header pushed wide by Cruel, so I suppose that's been the uh, highlight of the first half, which you must have saw, of course, if I did it in the editing. Um, but I guess it's just been a quiet game um, up until this stage. I suppose against Liverpool, we were one nil up, and then they equalised before half time. So it was quite an interesting game there. This time around, it's not really had too much action to it. That wasn't actually meant for that guy. It was supposed to come to me originally. Cross back into the middle. It's going to come all the way backwards to number 24 um, for some reason. That wasn't where I was aiming that cross, by the way, guys. I was aiming it to the middle, but for some reason, it went to our number 24. Bit surprising, um, but we still got it here. We'll see what we can do. As I, uh, I just about managed to squeeze that. No, I didn't. I was just going to say I managed to squeeze it through. But we have still got it as well. Ball through. Here we go. Send me a little bit wide, but the right foot strike comes in regardless. It's blocked. I didn't want to be sent that wide. Man, that was annoying. Good work down the left-hand side. Let's make something of it, though. The cutback was appalling, man. We had one opportunity to do it, and he took too long with it. He took an extra touch, to be fair. We have still got it here. I'm into the penalty area. Right footed. Got to be. We absolutely smashed that one at Krull. And he somehow came out and managed to stand up. We, we properly smashed that, to be fair. Uh, that was very powerful. Uh, we got 14 minutes to go. Let's see if we can find the breakthrough. That corner's going to go straight into the hands of Tim Krull, sadly. <sighs> Not the greatest cross in the world, but we've still got a little bit of time to go. A uh, stupid challenge on the edge of the area. It means that Delafeu now has the chance from a free kick to try and find the back of the net. Oops, a daisy. I just paused it. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Anyways, it's over the top of the crossbar. And Everton don't find the opening goal of the game. It looks as if we're going to be back to old ways in a boring nil-nil draw again, guys. Unless, in the 90th minute, I can conjure up something that can change the outcome of this game. Nice little interchangeable play. Got to continue your run. And he didn't continue it. And that's why they've come away with it. He just stopped running. I played the pass before I realised he stopped running. In all seriousness, probably my fault. But still, why did he stop his run? It's the 90th minute. You never know what's going to happen if you continue it. It's not like we were going to get caught on the break. That was the last attack of the game, man. We come away with another draw, sadly, in the second game. Not what I wanted to see. Back to the, uh, the good old draws again. That's always a nice thing to have, isn't it, guys? I swear we've drawn more, more games this season than, like, the entirety of the last season. Alrighty, guys. We are ready to go into game number three against Malmo in the Europa League. As you can see by the table there. As I, In fact, I may as well show you it in higher detail and, and make it more zoom so you guys can see. We are sat on 10 points. They are sat on 7. We cannot be caught. So we are out of our Europa League group stage, even if we lose this game here. But of course, now we're playing to see who comes out as group winners. Victory against Malmo here would mean that we will go through as group winners, um, regardless of the final result in the group stage. So of course, I could sim it. Draw would mean we have to go down to the final game. A loss would mean Malmo and us have to go to the final game anyways. So, uh, yeah, we want to avoid a defeat at all costs if we can do so, boys. Um, I'm not really too bothered about the way this game goes, as I said. But victory would mean we go through as group winners, which is always the best scenario to have. Having said that, there are some cases where if you don't go through as group winners, you get actually an easier draw. I mean, like the hood is, we're going to get a harder draw if that happens and we go out of second place. So we do want to go through as group winners. Um... But yeah, there are occasions when it has happened. You know, Arsenal, for example, won the group uh, in real life this time around and ended up pulling Bayern Munich again. How does that work in the Champions League? So, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's the team going into it. I'll see you all once we're in game and ready to check out their team in a moment. 
All right, then, people, we are into the final game. That is the Malmo team on your screen. Don't recognize any of the players, so let's just go anyways, guys. As I said, victory would mean we go through as group winners, so that's the main aim for today's episode here. And, of course, the Europa League is what we're aiming to do our best in in terms of our time here at Leicester because that's the only thing left to win. Seriously, though, leave me a comment. Do you think we can win the Europa League with Leicester? Like, we are through the group, so, of course, we know we're in the next knockout rounds. But leave me a comment right now. Do you guys think that we have the team here at Leicester to be able to win our first Europa League title? Yes or no? That's the question for today's video. I always like to uh, spice it up with a question, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's the only question I've got for you guys. Leave me a comment down below. I don't know if I'm so sure whether or not we can. I guess we'll find out. Good one to my teammate. And as we drive into the penalty area, we got a chance to strike it. There it is. We're one nil up in the game. I'm not quite sure how that went in, to be fair. Unless it takes a deflection. That could be a way it went in. Because otherwise, I'm not 100% sure how this actually went into the back of the net. It was a nice one-two play. We got through. The strike comes in. Does it take a deflection? Yes, it does. It does take a deflection on the way through. I think it does anyway. Uh, we'll probably see better from this angle. He kind of touches the defender. Still, would it have gone in without that touch? I don't know. We, are we going to get credit with it? Yes, we do. So it must have been on target. Would the keeper have saved it? Probably not. But 12 minutes into it, guys, we've already found the opening goal. Why couldn't we do that against Everton? Well, you know, that wasn't so hard, was it? Good turn, and we're into the area again. Looking for number two here. Oh, it's just wide of the post. Malmo right now cannot handle us. We are all over their defence. And that could have quite easily been 2-0. He tried to make the challenge before I got the strike off, but it was so close to finding that far corner. Sadly for us, it didn't. Mistake made by the defenders there, and they've given it an opportunity for us to move forward. My teammate still got it. Giving it off to me as well. Left footed strike curler. It's two. And it straight away doubled our advantage. I've got to be honest, it was quite strange, that one. It felt like we were offside because it allowed me to, like, celebrate, but the camera angle went a little bit strange. Mistake made by Malmo. We got him behind again. Little pass inside. Curling effort goal with top corner. Top class. 2-0 up. It's simple. As I said, why couldn't we do this against Everton? Oh, wait. Are we in behind? Is it three? It is three, and we're on side as well. Literally, we came out for the second half, guys. We've got our hat trick in Leicester Colours in the Europa League. Get in the back of the net. We have found a third. Um, it came from pretty much nothing. We just had a little bit of passing play on the left aisle on the right-hand side, sorry. And then eventually, somehow we got through. Ball came to me. I continued my run. And I thought I was offside at first. But apparently not. The flag stayed down. And we have got a third. We've got our hat trick. I may request a sub now, guys. Because honestly, there's pretty much nothing left for me to do in this game, to be fair. Um, not much more than I've already done. Unless I wanted to get like a fourth goal, which I don't really care about, to be fair. But this means now, guys, we go through as group winners in this one, regardless of the final game outcome in that, uh, you know, the last game of the group stage. So I suppose there's pretty much no point as playing it, to be fair. I mean, I probably will still play it just to uh, just to make sure we, of course, get to watch all of the games play out. But that should be our final contribution there as we've won a free kick. And that will then take us off here and we will be substituted. So... There you go. We get ourselves a match ball. The final game of today's episode. It's just a shame it wasn't in the league. We'll watch the rest of the match play out, as I always like to do for you guys. And we can see how we get on in the final kind of 40 minutes or so to come. Cross whipped into the middle. And Mom will deal with it originally. The cross then comes back in again. Oh, my goodness. It's four. <laughs> it's four nil, guys. I think it's my replacement as well, to be fair. Um, unless he was playing out on the right, that guy. But I do know he's actually... Um, a striker as well, but I think he's been deployed out on the right. But there you go. 4 0 up. Keeper in no man's land. What's he doing? I don't know. All right, 30 minutes to go. Malmo now looking for their first attack of the game. Don't find it just yet, but they have still got the ball here. What are they going to do with it, though? Um, they just give it away. So cheaply give it away. And I don't know if they're on a lot of attack or not. At this stage, it probably doesn't matter. 4 0 down. They're probably not going to get back in it. Um, so. If they are on our attack, though, there's a chance for us to potentially get even more from this. And the good bit about this is, if there is such a thing as morale in this game, it's a nice booster to have. I remember back in Ultimate Team, I think there was morale before in one of the previous Ultimate Teams. And there's still a myth going about that apparently it's still in this game. Whether or not it is, I don't know. Um, but yeah, as a morale booster, if this was like kind of a real-life situation, this would be a great way to keep, uh, or get our morale back up, I suppose. With all the draws we've been having recently in the Premier League. So a good result here, at least. I also get the match ball as well. So for my confidence, it makes it a little bit better in that aspect of it. But here we go. Then the man just bursting down the left-hand side. In fact, this might have been the guy that replaced me because he has fresh legs. I don't know if I'm the only substitution so far. But we've got 20 minutes to go. 4-0 lead. We're going through as group winners. Surely not a fifth. Surely not a fifth. 90 minutes on the clock. A great run. 
from the player who added the fourth to the mix. And it's a great save as well. Phenomenal save by the keeper. Uh, it is 90 minutes though. That should be the end of the game now with this corner being cleared away. Get it away and then we can end the game off. Come on, let's, let's just end the game, ref. I mean, you're just playing needless time here, to be fair. They're not going to get five goals and, and win the game, are they? So there you go. We won. We are through as group winners. We do take the match ball home. Sadly, I skipped it before you could watch us pick up the match ball. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, there we go, guys. We have come out as winners. Um, it's just a shame that we couldn't have a goal against Everton, to be fair. Bristol City drawing nil-nil with Napoli. Before we go, I'm going to check out how Bristol City are getting on in their group because this is hilarious. If they go through... I am gonna, I'm going to be rooting for me, to be fair. They're in the championship. Why not? You know, I want to see Bristol City make the final. That's what I want. Championship outfit Bristol City in the final of the Europa League. Yes, please. Let's see where they are in the division. Bristol City are in third place at the moment. One game to go. They're on eight points as well as Grasshopper Club. Uh, you know what? They could get out of the group. I I'm rooting for them. Please, please, please. If there is a god... Help Bristol City get out of their group and into the knockout rounds of the Europa League. That would be absolutely amazing to see. However, today, guys, that is where we're going to end this episode off. If you have enjoyed it, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. We're just under two months away. I know I keep reiterating this point away from FIFA 18, but that just shows you how excited I am. I can't wait to give you guys so much more entertainment and gameplay when FIFA 18 just drops. So make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all again at 6 p.m. UK time tonight for yet another video. I will catch you all later, guys. Adios.